As a trained journalist with a university degree in it, I can tell you that I have used my journalism skills in a lot of ways throughout my entire life. As a man who is over 50, I have seen a lot of things in my work and in my career and in my private life. I also can tell you that most people have a professional zone and a private zone, or a professional life and a personal life. And in my life, I was raised to believe that we have the right to be as best and as high as we can be. And what I mean by that is that we have the right to pursue our life, our liberties, and our happiness. And with those pursuits, we have responsibilities and we have liabilities. Responsibilities understands that I am an American citizen, born and bred and raised here, with family who came from England and other places like Germany, on pretty much within the Mayflower. I don't know how those things mixed. I don't know how they met each other. I don't really care anymore. But we do have three volumes of four inch thick, tall, 12 by 14 inch uh, long, I think, if I remember correctly, and I could be slightly over exaggerating, but not by much, serious honker books that prove this. What I can also say to you is because I have that history, because I have that heritage, and because I have the lineage from my father, my birth father, who is no longer with us and passed in spirit, it was important to him that we understood where we came from on both lines and both sides of our family. You see, for him, the history of America was a fascination, a pastime, and a hobby. And he and my mom did travel across the land every time he had a chance to use some of his vacation time, and he would go to heritage sites, he would go to statues and other type of American memorabilia, and he would feel like a more important American citizen. He also supported a lot of politicians with his wealth and his affluence in the community. He trained his children to consider building our lives to be a person of influence. A person of influence has 60 degrees of separation for sure, but a person of influence also have ethics and morals that keep them within the lines that God has provided for us. In life, we have moments of time to talk about truth, and talking about truth is exactly what a reporter must do today. Because we can blur the lines between truth and falsity. We can blur, blur the lines between marketing and advertising. But the reality is that marketing is what we do every single day of our life. And if you're not a marketing expert, that's not really your fault. But what I'm saying to you is every aspect of your life is marketing. How you present yourself to the world, what you wear, what you say, what you do, what you learn to grow yourself is completely 100% on you the minute that you really hit about age 16 when you start to get the rules of life but the rules of life about being social the rules of life about being a networker the rules of life about being open and kind to a lot of people what I can say to you is that I literally remember going to my high school uh, graduation of 600 some people which isn't a big uh, student population today but good enough in an affluent community in any way and the reality is that I remember standing in line going, who the hell are you? I've never met you in my life. And yet they knew who I was. And so that was good and that was bad. And I had friends in a part of every type of community. But the reality is, and social networks in that way, because that's what classmates do. But what I can say to you today about the adulthood is not much has changed. Most of our life is spent and invested in the people who are the most dear to our life. And the fools of America think that one person is not important and another person is important. That is a foolish approach to life because you never know who someone is and you never know who they know and you never know what they can do to you in a way that hits your profession. At the same time, you never know who they can become and what they could do to help lift you out of your depression. And openly, people who are working in retail sadly are not well paid all the time. But here's the problem. The, real, the reality is not that they're not striving in life. The reality might be their actual attitudes and behavior in life. Because there's a certain expectation in the professional community of how you behave, what you say, what you do, what you don't say, and how you achieve appropriate relationships that build your business.